Hey everyone, it's me here, Juniper Smiles, with another video. It has been quite a while since I did a plan with me video, so I figured I would make one for you here. So, a couple of things before we get into this. I just want to say I hope everyone is staying safe, keeping themselves inside, washing their hands, doing what we need to do right now to just make sure that things can get a little bit better and not be so crazy. So, please take the time for yourself. Don't be going out and about, you know, it's, right now it's good to be safe. So don't want to talk about that too much. We're all kind of being uh, <laughs> reminded all the time about this. So um, to get into this, I am still using the loik term from my last video. I will be using this through the end of the month. I will also be switching to using it just for uh, receipts, ticket stubs, that sort of thing, when I can go back out again. I am using this notebook that I got a while ago um, for daily journaling. As you can tell, it's just journaling. There's no pictures, there's nothing pretty. So that is what I've been using for that. <laughs> um, I really like it. It's bendy, it's nice, it feels good. I got it from Target, it's a nice little notebook. This, however, is something new. This is the Scribbles That Matter insert. And I did not like their covers, so I actually got my own. This is a Midori cover. You've seen me use this before. This is a new one because I actually threw the old one away. Um, but it's just a plastic sleeve cover. It works perfect on this notebook. Um, it's not that the insert is not good on its own. Like, as a standalone, I think it would be just fine. The cover is pretty thick, actually. It's... You can't hear me tapping it, but it's like um, like a really thick cardboard. I just, I think the one thing I didn't like was that the cover was a bit cream. Like, it's actually the same color as my look term paper, and then the actual STM paper is pure white, which I wasn't a fan of. Um, something to note with this notebook or insert, you don't get a back pocket. You don't get any bookmarks. This is a very minimal approach to the notebook, and I really like it. Um, I think the thing I didn't like was I don't like the cover being cream, and I don't like the scribbles that matter part right when I open the book. I like that normally to be pretty plain or, you know, clean or just, you know, minimal and yeah, but, you know, <laughs> not being too picky. Uh, STM, unfortunately, won't be doing their restock anytime soon due to the COVID, so, oh my goodness, excuse me, um, I was really, I think my big problem with this year not, you know, bonding with a notebook was I really fell in love with the STM paper, the new paper, <laughs> the paper everyone seems mad about. I love it. I love the 160 GSM paper they offer. I love how it feels. I like how it writes. I like how thick it is. And I was really struggling to find a notebook this year that I could stick with because the STMs were sold out and I was unable to get one. I decided to get the insert. Uh, it was only like $15, $16 uh, roughly. So it was actually a lot cheaper than I expected. I heard her a lot of people saying, oh, it's like $20, but they're actually only about $15, $16 on Amazon. So I swooped in and got myself one. Uh, the covers were sold out, but as I said earlier, I don't like those kind of covers. I have a different variation of one of those that I got like four or five years ago when I first started journaling and I just didn't like it. So I did not buy one, so them being sold out wasn't a big deal for me. So the things I'm going to use for this setup are obviously my music because, you know, that's pretty important. I did have to do some fixing of my camera and stuff there for a second before I jumped into the quick, <laughs> speedy version. Now, it took me over an hour and 20 minutes to set up this spread. This is sped up quite a bit to get it down to 20 minutes uh 25 I guess around there 20 25 minutes it it was um really long and I messed up so much I don't know what was going on I was just on the struggle bus through this whole entire setup process really really kind of sucked a bit I right away messed up writing my name uh, my friend gave me one of these whiteout tape things so I did use that but I ultimately decided because it still it stands out too much I just wanted to cover it and I ended up doing that I got these really pretty uh, palette sticky notes from mono like on Amazon mono mono I'm 
forgive me. But uh, I really like them. They have um, some other palette sets you can get too that I really want to get. But the four pack I got, I really am a fan of and I'm glad I got them. And to cover up that opening page, because I don't like it, I go through my James Dean postcards to pick one out. As we all know, I have James Dean in every bullet journal now. <laughs> And I cut it down to size, make sure it fits pretty well, and then I can just nicely cover things up. Now, I know what a lot of you are probably thinking. This is my third bullet journal, and it's not even April yet. In my defense, my first journal for, of the year, um, I didn't bond with it at all. I liked it, but I just I did not bond with it. I didn't like the paper. I didn't like writing in it. So... I did the minimal version that I've been doing for two months now in my pocket like term and it has been working really well for me. I have just noticed that I am missing some things that I need for my stuff. I missed having a habit tracker and stuff like that and while I could incorporate that into that notebook I decided that I was enjoying more using it as a place to put things like when I go out to eat to put my receipts in there and when I go to a movie put my ticket in there because normally I just put those things in like a little lockbox and it's just messy and a disaster. So I kind of liked having just a place to put all of these things and be able to flip through and look at them. So I'm going to actually still use it. I know a lot of people think that my journals go to waste. I promise they don't. I I'm constantly going back to them. Even my STM that I filled up at the end of last year, or well, just this last year, yeah, last year that just ended 2019, I um, I still go in there to the like the last like four or five pages I have blank left, and I'll cut them out and use them for things. Like I, I still use up the notebooks. So do not worry. I'm not just buying money and wasting them on paper. I know that I've been seeing some people in the community getting kind of uppity about that, and. Actually, I kind of want to take a moment to talk about that for a minute, that I have been completely oblivious <laughs> up until just this week about, how do I want to put this, gatekeeping within our community. I am not a fan of it. I am really upset that a community that I've been a part of for going on five years now has been kind of becoming slightly toxic because of really silly reasons, in my opinion. And that is my opinion. You are allowed to have yours, and I'm not saying you're wrong for having them. I am, however, saying it's wrong to push your opinions upon other people and try to force them to do things how you're doing them. I recently have watched videos where it was really eye-opening, because I would watch a video where it was one person tearing people down and how they need to do things this way, and I was really put off by that video to immediately go into a video by another person I follow talking about these things that are happening and how they're being torn down for these. And I saw both sides of the spectrum moments apart from each other. And it made me realize, okay, you know what, maybe this is something that's going on that I just haven't noticed before. And noticing it now, it, it's putting me off from wanting to share my journal I don't want to have people come after me because I start a new journal versus turning the page and continuing, or I like to use washi tape, or I'm OCD so I use a ruler, you know, like, I don't want to be attacked for these things because other people choose not to do it that way. Same for the type of notebook you use. It shouldn't matter what you're choosing to use, it should matter that the system is working for you. I mean, right now, I messed up this spread so bad. <laughs> like multiple times and rather than you know just turning the page and keeping going I decided to paste pictures in and you know try and cover it up and to be honest I ended up deciding I don't even need this spread and my bullet journal is still a bullet journal even though I pasted pictures in and even though I didn't use a yearly overview you know I, if I want to draw in my bullet journal that's fine if I want to put washi tape in and scrapbook in it that's fine too the thing that is really bothering me about this whole entire thing that's going on right now is that I firmly believe that the joy of a bullet journal comes from the fact that it's unique to you. It's what you need it to be. It's what works for you as a person. It's not me copying other... Okay, okay. 
all right, I shouldn't say that because I did fully copy Megan's spread in my leg term, but her, like, her method works for me. I'm not just copying it because that's what I'm told to do. I don't think you should only do Ryder Carroll's method because that's the real way to bullet journal because that's not true. And even he says that's, that's not how it works. He says, do what works for you. What, what is the best for you? You know, this is a completely universal thing to where you can change it. You can do what you need to. And that's what I love about it. I love that I can put my art and my, you know, aesthetic and stuff into my planner because it's, it's something that I can enjoy doing. And yeah, I might spend a bit more time setting my stuff up, but that's because for me, it's, it's relaxing. It's like meditation for me. Yeah, sometimes I will spend way too much time on setting things up. Like, I mean, just this setup took me over almost an hour and a half, but I messed up a lot. I struggled through this setup. I think like almost every page I had something go wrong, like every spread of two pages. So, I mean, I just, but I kept going and I did make it work for me, but that's just it. Some people, what I do isn't going to work for them. Does that mean that I'm bullet journaling wrong? No. Does it mean they're bullet journaling wrong? Absolutely not. Bullet journaling is supposed to be something that works for you. You want to put washi tape in and spend, you know, an entire day setting up some spreads? Go for it. That is all on you. That is your choice. That's what makes you happy, you know? don't do something because other people are telling you that's what you have to do. And if people are on your Instagram or on your YouTube or even in the Amino telling you you're doing it wrong, delete that shit. Delete those comments. Don't even give it the time of day. Don't respond. You know, to be honest, if you're capable of ignoring it and not even reading the comments, you know, then leave them there. Just pretend they don't exist. That's what I do to people on here when they say something that I don't agree with in mine, given it's only happened maybe once or twice since I've started this, my channel. But I thought about it when I was reading the comment that I didn't like, and I was like, you know, I could delete this, but you know what? I'm not going to because that's their opinion. They're entitled to their opinion. But they don't get to control my life. They don't get to dictate what I enjoy doing. They don't get to choose what works for me and what doesn't. Because what works for me is not exactly what's going to work for you. Everyone is different. Everyone is unique. All of our lives are different. And everything that we do is going to be unique for us. And I don't know. I'm really disappointed that a community that is based around, you know, being artistic and creative and being yourself is now kind of getting gatekeepy and I wasn't even aware. <laughs> I'm pretty inactive to be honest. Like I post in the Amino group once in a while. I've gotten pretty slow at doing that. Like I don't do it as often. Um, I don't upload to my Instagram all the time like I used to. To be honest, I don't actually check Instagram that much. I am not big into social media like a lot of people are. That, that said, I have a social media tracker, but it's mostly because a lot of the social media I do pay attention to is for my job. And I, I don't really focus a lot on my personal social media. Like I stopped having an Instagram trackers spread all on its own because my Instagram is not banging and blowing up as quick as some people's. And that's fine. It doesn't make me sad. But I don't invest as much into social media as other people do. So a lot of this stuff was completely over my head. I was unaware of. And I think the only thing I really saw that was kind of something that interested me was I watched a video about things that they regret buying. Now, a lot of the video came off kind of, hmm, kind of brash, I would say. Uh, It was really more, it felt more like it was to deter people from trying these things, which I didn't really agree with, but I liked the idea of the video, you know, and I'm actually going to be doing my own version of it. However, I'm not going to be telling people why they shouldn't get these things or anything like that. I'm just going to say... These are things I got personally that didn't work for me. I wish, 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 wow, I went to say wish and regret at the same time. Um, I wish that I wouldn't have gotten these things, you know, and that sort of thing. And I will be working on that video soon. I'm going to actually be doing my April plan with me before I film that video. So 
that is something I do really want to do. I liked the idea. I thought the execution was a little pointed. <laughs> um, and if you know who I'm talking about, please don't think I'm trying to send hate or shade. I love her channel. I love her personality, her don't give a fuck attitude. Um, it's, I really like that. I've just been noticing that there's a lot of stuff happening in the community that I think a lot of people are getting a bit, you know, we're starting to get notice things more, especially now that we're stuck inside. We're on YouTube all the time. We're on social media all the time. And, you know, we're seeing things we wouldn't have normally seen before or might not have noticed. Um, personally, I work from home already, so being quarantined isn't much different from how my life already was. I unfortunately can't go to the gym or anything like that, which I am really not enjoying, you know, that part of it. But I'm not as impacted as some people are, and I am sending all my good vibes to you. I hope that you're doing okay in this time. I know having depression and anxiety and stuff myself, being cooped up at home can be really hard for some people, and it can make it, you know, so you're stuck with your thoughts. So trying to keep busy is a good thing. Uh, setting up this journal has been a great way to keep busy, and I'm not setting up a new journal simply because I'm, you know, basically in quarantine. I am setting up a new journal because I am struggling <laughs> really hard to find what works for me right now and I'm just trying to get things to work and I'm really glad I switched uh, th like even through setting these up I had so many problems my bills header was uneven um, this one I had trouble with my lines and I also had troubles with my camera <laughs> My batteries kept dying. I kept filling up my card because a lot of this was, you know, really lengthy to film. So there's some jump cuts here and there even in my video. My lighting is terrible because where I live right now, it is, it's gloomy. It is so gloomy. So there is like no natural light coming into my room and it was just, mm, making this video for you guys, man, it's been a struggle, but it was a fun struggle. And I totally just kind of ventured away from what I was talking about with the whole gatekeeping thing. Um, basically, just to sum that up so I can move on from it, uh, be nice to people. <laughs> um, if you don't agree with what someone's doing with their bullet journal, keep scrolling. Don't, don't t go out of your way to tell them they're wrong. Don't try to tell them, you know, that's not how you do it. That's not right. Because you don't get to make that choice for them. The whole point of bullet journaling is to have something that works for you, and if that's what works for them, then that's a bullet journal. As long as they are, you know, keeping track of their tasks, that is a bullet journal. If they want to have half of it be a sketchbook, half of it be a diary, and then they throw tasks in sometimes, guess what? It's still a bullet journal. If they want to do it in the lined notebook, or they want to spend money on Archer and Olive, which I wish I could afford... Like, let them do it, you know? You are not the king or the queen of bullet journaling. You did not create this system. Ryder Carroll has been very clear about how he feels about people, you know, doing what they want to do in their journal. Yes, he has a, his own method, but that is not the one true method. That is Ryder Carroll's method. And you know what? If you do that method, good for you. That's what works for you. If you want to do the boho berry method, go for it. You want to do, you know, the artsy, you know, do it. Stop telling people what they're doing is wrong. Stop it. All right? That, and I'm done. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> um, so a couple of other things I want to kind of talk about is myself a little bit in this video. Since I'm not going to be putting music in, I'm just going to fill it with my gorgeous voice, which is a little raspy um, right now, so I apologize. And if I cough or clear my throat, I'm terribly sorry. Don't worry, I'm not like quarantined because of COVID. I have had this terrible cold since like mid-February and it's not going away and it's actually gotten a bit worse, so I will be going to the doctors tomorrow. But um, it is affecting my recording, so I apologize for that. So, <clears throat> some things about myself I kind of wanted to talk about. Um, as most of you are aware, I moved across the country back in November, and I have been getting through a pretty emotional breakup, 
and basically starting my life over since, you know, I moved. And within that time, I've been, you know, on a roller coaster, (laughs) not going to lie. But things have been getting a lot better the past few weeks. I am feeling, you know, more calm about things. I am, I'm not crying anymore about it. And, you know, that sort of thing. I'm starting to get my life back on track here and, you know, working on getting my debts paid off. As you can tell, I worked a bit on a debt tracker and I'm, I like how I did it. I did it with post-its so that way I could remove them as needed and it wasn't inked in or penciled in. I really, really like how I thought of doing that. But the um, with everything that's happened, I really struggled with uploading for a long time. You know, things were just pretty crazy, pretty hectic. And I'm really glad I'm getting back into it again. I am really hoping (laughs) this drama in the community doesn't deter me too much. It does make me a bit worried to upload. I don't really want to um, be one of those people who gets, you know, having people on my stuff being really rude to me just because of how I chose to do things because that's not fair. You know, and it's making me nervous, but I'm trying to upload. I have a lot of ideas and kind of being stuck at home more than I already was. I have a bit more time to do them, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, So, (laughs) one more thing. The internet spread that I did, I completely messed up on internet. I forgot to put the lowercase n, and then it was too late. But I kind of like it because I'm thinking of it more as in internet like you're inside on the inner yeah okay I'm lame I know all right sorry I just had to interject with that little um super lame joke for a second uh (laughs) but I don't know like life is pretty crazy things are crazy I'm having some severe you know ADD filming this video talking all over the place I should learn to maybe script things a bit But I wanted to kind of start branching out from bullet journaling on my YouTube channel. I've talked about this before. I've just never done it. But I kind of think I'm going to start talking about some other stuff as well. A lot of you know I really like to watch movies. That's a huge, huge part of my pastime. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I will start kind of talking about movies I see. I'm not going to go as in-depth as some channels do. I'm really poor with editing and stuff and I'm not going to be including you know video clips from what I watched or anything like that I'm probably just gonna sit down and just talk about it a bit and I also kind of wanted to start maybe trying video blogging which I have brought up in the past as well and I'm thinking that I might try to incorporate it a little bit more and attempting to do it a little bit more. I mean, right now I'm kind of explaining things and vlogging a little bit, but I kind of want to try and start recording some more of my life and, you know, what is going on sort of thing. So, um, yeah, now I don't know what to talk about. I'm sorry. Uh, so for, I guess I'll talk about what I'm doing in my, in my video, in my journal. Um, so I did a reading log, which I actually have been reading this year. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself. I've actually been reading. I finished the first Harry Potter book. I'm on the second one. I have read them in the past, though, so it's not like they're something new for me. I've also been busting my way through my copy of You. Yes, that's from the the one that the show is based off. It's very different than the show. And I've also gotten a bunch of new books I'm really excited to kind of bust into. So... I've, I'm actually kind of using my reading log a little bit more than I have in the past. I'm really excited about that. Um, my watch list, however, I didn't know how I wanted to do this because I knew with the stamps I was using, my normal title wouldn't fit. So instead I did I Saw, which I don't know if that's proper grammar or not. Um, but I went with it. And I unfortunately dropped the O stamp on my paper and it bounced a few times and I tried to do erase as much of it away as I could it bothered me though um I do end up covering it I think one of the good things about me still continuing to upload this video even though I just kept messing up my journal is you can see how I how I fix things you know like go through and be like oh snap I messed this up I can do this oh I messed that up I can do that So you can actually see me fixing and hiding some things that I messed up on and 
Washi tape is definitely a big savior of mine. I use it to hide so many mistakes. Um, even in my regular writing journal, I wrote down the wrong date. And as you can tell, I took a piece of black washi and covered that up. I would have whited it out in there, but the journal is really um, yellow. So <laughs> washi tape for that was better. And this washi tape that I have, the... Um, this like writing one it's new for me but I think it was old because it it kind of tears and not in like a way I would like it to as you can tell I kind of struggled a little bit with getting the edge clean so I just didn't have a clean edge but yeah so this video is coming to an end I'm going to do a quick flip through of how my setup went and in the next video you'll be watching me set up for April which hopefully will be a quick and easy setup. I've already got it penciled in. Um, if you don't already, please check out my Instagram. I post pictures on there, not every day, but I try to post every so often my spreads. And Amino is a lot of fun. I'm not on there too often, but I do try to post sometimes, so be sure to check it out. Otherwise, please, if you aren't already, subscribe to my channel. If you liked my video, give me a thumbs up. Um, comments are always appreciated. I love getting feedback. I love hearing about your journal, so don't be shy. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and have a good quarantine. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Happy planning.